If you've attended one of the big maker fairs in the last few years, you've probably run across the Power Racing Series. The Power Racing Series is when people take children's toys, soup them up, and race against each other. We love the Power Racing Series, so we're bringing it to SparkFun as part of AVC 2016. But because we're SparkFun, we're putting our own spin on it and creating something called APRS, the Autonomous Power Racing Series. For this event, we're asking you to build autonomous vehicles the same size as the Power Racing Series vehicles. And like the ABC, they'll need to find their way around the course all by themselves. But unlike the traditional ABC, if you wish, you can hop aboard for the ride. We're also introducing something that we've been working on for years and are finally proud to introduce to the public. Left turns! Anyone? This is stupid. Can can I get out of the shark suit, please? Can somebody help me? Let's talk about the course. At AVC 2016, we'll be setting up a Power Wheels Racing Series course. We'll use the same course for both a traditional PRS race with real human drivers and an autonomous PRS race. You can enter either race or both if you want. Vehicles will start Mario Kart style on a staggered grid with the fastest vehicle on the starting line. When the race begins, They'll race around the course, and the fastest vehicle back to the finish line wins. If your autonomous vehicle can't make it all the way around, you'll still get points for making it through the four quarters of the course. The course will be 18 feet wide and lined with hay bales. To help out those of you with vision systems, we're going to add optical targets to the hay bales. We're going to stick a colored plastic plate to each hay bale, red plates on the left side of the course, and green plates on the right. The PRS team will supply infrared transponders that sense by an overhead bridge so your time will be from the moment you pass the starting line to the moment you cross it at the end of the race. But there's a $20 rental fee. Don't forget. We've published all the details of the course, including GPS coordinates, to help you with your programming. But we do advise you show up the day before the race to try out your vehicle under real-world conditions. Let's talk about the vehicles. PRS vehicles are typically made out of modified children's toys, so that's a great place to start. There's no maximum weight, but they have to fit in a box that's 32 inches wide, 62 inches long, and 72 inches high, including the passenger. Speaking of passengers, as we've mentioned, if you're brave enough, you can sit in your vehicle while it navigates the course. If you do that, you'll also need to wear gloves, appropriate clothing, and a motorcycle helmet. If you don't want to carry a real live human in your vehicle, we'll supply you with a 20 pound weight. Think large watermelon. PRS vehicles have a maximum budget of $500, but note that your mechatronics, computers, and sensors are not bound by the $500 rule, and only 50% of your battery cost counts towards the cap. Speaking of batteries, you can use any type you want except LiPo because of their entertaining habit of catching on fire. Your system voltage is limited to 48 volts max, and we'll want to see a fuse in your system that limits the total power to 1440 watts. For different battery voltages, you'll need different fuses. We'll post a table of these in the rules. And note that this is a lot of powers, so size your wires and components accordingly. Because of the size of the vehicles, they must have both a local kill switch and a wireless remote kill switch. Nate wrote a neat tutorial on how to do this using inexpensive radio modules. We'll provide a link in the description. Like the traditional ABC, your autonomy must be self-contained except for GPS. So no radio links back to supercomputers, please. We've got all the rules online, so check there for these and other details. Before you're allowed to race, we're going to be inspecting every vehicle to make sure you're meeting all the rules. And you could be disqualified for missing something important. But it's worth noting that there's another PRS rule called the I'm not even mad rule, which says that if you break the rules in a completely outrageous way, we won't be mad. So if you're gonna break the rules, Break the f out of them. Finally, PRS is a spectator sport. Make your vehicles look amazing. Wear costumes, do skits, bribe the judges, get moxie points from the audience. If you're taking this ultra seriously, you're probably in the wrong place. Good luck on your vehicles, and we'll see you in September.